Meanwhile, hidden in one of the subfolders, Uh, that, that happened. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Grimwit. This is Crypt Worlds. This is our wonderful house again. Today, I believe, we will be encountering a special guest. There he is. Let's talk to him. Huh? Who are you? A fan, maybe? I have a hard time with people, but I'm glad you came to see me anyway. Let me know if there's anything you want signed. For some reason, I have an affinity for this guy. I'm not real sure. He is a horrible, screaming murderer, but uh, I still think that's okay. Also, it's been two days since we've planted our seeds. We can start harvesting them. There we go. Let's go ahead and plant some more seeds. And honestly, we'll do one more. Part of the routine, because it's going to start setting up now a routine, is to come in here and to check to see if the guy finished his dig. We'll always want to keep a little gold on hand for uh, just the purpose of, uh, of giving him some more money later on. Jeez, give me some time here. I'm working on it. All right, Mr. Archaeologist. You will have your time. Let's see, I don't think 30 is enough P yet. I think we need 50 for each P hole. Today, we're going to go into the tunnels. There are two ways into the tunnels. This is uh, one of them. Actually, I guess there are three ways into the tunnels, but we'll cover hell later. Okay, first and foremost, I need to go to Mark Donald's and get some bergs. Ah, 
I assume this is a skeleton. Can anyone really say what the point of living without Expanse Tunnel System is? I doubt it. Oh no. While I'm quickly pra traveling through the prairie here to get to the other entrance of the tunnel, you'll notice this truck. Eventually it will move, but a certain, ha a certain flag has to be triggered first. Hmm. The tree looks kind of like Charlie Brown for some reason. Of course, this is the other entrance into the tunnels, and we don't even need to climb over the wall. There we go. Let's head back to Mart Donald's. Ah, good. He's reset. What does he have to say? Every time I have a meal, I pray to the glorious pantheon of Berg Lords. Ah, shit. Alright, I've restarted the game. Hopefully this will take care of the glitches. I do not wish for the glitches to trigger yet. And I can't remember if it's because I've been talking to too many people in one place or too many people in one sitting. Either way, this will reset the glitch. Need Berg. Where's Berg? No. No one has actually seen the Berg Lords in person for over three three years. Oh, I was about to say three hundred. Yet the Bergs continue coming. Could it be someone has usurped the power of the Berg Lords? It could be very possible. I'm sure there's a tale here about McDonald's or some, some such thing. I cannot escape the allure of Bergs. Have you tried the allure of piss? Knocked him off his feet. My life is a void, waiting to be filled with birds. Ah, Mark Donalds. Our menu here is... varied. Hey, watch where you're going. Get out of here. You want to mess with me? No way. I'm real steamed. Well, sorry about that little trash can. I thought you had something inside of you. Hello, I would like a burg, please, and possibly some soda. Ah, let's see. Piss soda is 10 gold. That's a lot of gold. How about I just do a, a Mediburg and a piss soda? So, there's the Mediburg, and that gave us a crumb and a seed. And uh, a piss soda for 10 gold really fills up our piss. That's good. We'll need that piss for something later on. How about you? You seem like a good Berg factory worker. Our mystical food vats can create food from even the most vile materials, such as this rat. It's a rat. It's dead. Yeah. I believe there's another rat here. And if I had all the piss in the world, I could uh, play around with the rats and just sort of knock them around the room. Hello. The purifying crystals we use cleanses all matter they come into contact with, and this creates five delicious bergs. It's truly a miracle. Another dead rat. And crystallized uh, berg vats. Back here we have... I'm going to assume that some kind of garlic, because I've played Castlevania, and that looks like something out of Castlevania. More importantly is this pee hole. It's finally time to reveal what these pee holes are for. Uh, I believe the amount is 50. There we go. And that gives us a beautiful gold bug. This is the first out of 10 gold bugs. I will be showing where all the gold bugs are. All right. We now have one gold bug out of 10 collected. Excellent. Let's continue on the tour of the tunnels. Each time you buy something from Mart Donald's, you get certain Mart Donald points. Let's see here. We currently have 85 Mart Donald points. That's really not a lot. We can exchange it for gold, or we can get a new wallet for 200 Mart Donald points. 
It's important to eat at McDonald's as much as possible, if for no other reason than for the number four option, personal spot for 500 McDonald points. Oh. Right now, we don't have enough for anything, but we will return. Down this hallway is the museum. Hi. Yeah, there's some rocks or something. Take a look. This is a prophecy. This is a prophecy that will tell you how to basically destroy the world. We are the harbingers of death. Hi. Wow, what fascinating relics, but what could they possibly have intended? Could these have been used to examine the stars? Who could possibly say? Ah, the wonders of history. Every time I look at these guys' bodies while they wiggle their arms like that, it imagine it, it makes me imagine a, some kind of plush animal. These are so cute that I can hardly be scared of them. Hardly. That doesn't mean that I'm not afraid of them. I'm just hardly afraid of them. Let's read out the prophecy. Incidentally, if you don't know, this right here is pretty much what we look like. But uh, we'll get a better picture of that later. In the dark age of Dendigar, there will rise an unexpected champion, a chosen one, who will come to smite evil from the world and awaken the old god. The chosen one will retrieve three powerful tears of god, located within the ruinous worlds of the past. Upon collecting the three tears of god, the Chosen One will move beyond the realm of the living and unite the tears at the pyramids of meat deep within the underworld. Once this has been done, the old god of chaos will finally awaken once again and a primal chaos will engulf the world. It will be grand. It certainly will. There we go, I can clip in, jump on top of the guy, there we go. This is very difficult. I think I gotta be on the edge. Okay, let's see, where, where does it seem I'm the highest? Yeah, let's try jumping. Like... Come on, damn you! Do it! Do it! Mm. You win this time, coffin, but there will be another time. That way leads back home. This way leads to a computer room which we do not have the ability to enter. I don't remember what opens this door. If we click on it now, it just says, it's locked. A small note hanging from the door reads, out for lunch, huh? Better check back later. Ah, a poster. We agree, apparently. You look very familiar. Why do you look familiar? Hmm. Nah, it's right on the tip of my mind. I can't quite place it. It's just a bunch of stuff about how computers are fun and educational and also can overtake your vital organs and limbs, which I think would fit under fun. Welcome to the Tunnels Community Network, or TCN. You currently have no email. You currently have no friends. You currently have nothing. That's not true. I have eight gold. Ah, another detective. I overheard that some outdated robots talking about their latest find. Seems like the MD machines can be hacked. This is true. Well, I don't support that behavior, but I'll let you know. This isn't a cyberpunk video game. That's all I can say. All right, sir. I cannot remember... Does it actually matter how much we play pool? There are no pockets and they're all eight balls. I think this counts as billiards. Ah! That is enough merriment for today. Some weird music is for coming behind the door, but that doesn't seem like it can, 
can be opened. How strange. We'll find another way through this. Uh, this is another bed, yet another bed, that we can use to pass the days. I prefer to pass the days in my own home. Ah, but there's another pee hole. And we have exactly 50 P. I feel like I have been foolish somehow. Hmm. Hi there. Welcome to our inn. Enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. I have peed in the corner. I hope you don't mind. Wow, TV. Well, um... What do you think of that TV? Do you have another side of this conversation? I spend all day watching this man. He spends all day watching back. Never once have I seen him move. Maybe I have met my match. Hello, sir. Soon the time will be right. Hey, it's Spico. Yes, yeah, Spico here. I'll never believe in anything. Everyone says ghosts live behind that door, but they're all chumps. I only believe in the endless desperation of the masses. Harumph. I'm steamed. Ugh. See you around, kid. Beep, beep. I believe he's talking about this door. We'll go through that door eventually. Just not from this way. That pretty much covers everything we're going to do today. Let's go ahead and exchange some of our seeds. I don't need five seeds. But I do appreciate the gold. We also have some more meats. Hmm. I think it's alright to sell the meats. Or rather buy the meats. Well, buy gold with the meats. I, I don't know. Economy is very strange when you stop and think about it for a little bit. I'm taking these useless pieces of paper, or in this case, go chunks of metal, and I'm trading them for meats. But I'm not necessarily trading them in one direction. After all, I'm not giving people gold. I'm also giving people seeds, and they're giving me gold in return. Most of this is hidden, because when you're out and about, you're working. Say, you got a 9-to-5 job. Good for you. I don't. So, it's kind of hidden that you are trading your time for the money. In exchange for trading the money for food, which is, I guess, trading for more time. When did this become so philosophical? That's it for today, I think. Yeah, what the hell. Let's plant a crop. Huh? Oh, I tried to plant a bone. There we go. That is all for this week. Next week, we will actually go to the crypts of the crypt world. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to defeat that one coffin in the corner of the tunnels. Either way, I'll see you there.